hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'll be showing you guys how I got this four strand crown braid hairdo so before we get into the video be sure to click that thumbs up button and also to click that subscribe button and become a part of the family so now let's jump into the video so I'm starting off on clean hair that's partially stretched and then I'm just making a parting down the center of my head and then I'm using some eco style argan oil gel to hold my parting separated so I'm just applying that on the middle portions of my hair at the front you could do this afterwards but I just chose to do it before now I'm just going to the back of my head and just pulling out sections of hair and then I'm putting some gel in between each section and then I'm brushing it to make a sleek ponytail so each time I'm just pulling out fresh portions of hair applying some gel to the area and then I'm just brushing it and making it nice and flat and then I put it in the hair tie that I had the first portion in before so now I'm just gonna speed this part up a little bit because I'm just doing the same procedure each time I use my fingers to section my hair I'm applying some gel in between the sections and then I'm brushing it and then putting it in the same hair tie until the entire head is completely in that one hair tie and there's a nice sleek bun at the back of my head now I'm just tying this down and then I'll be making the braid so you'll need one pack of expressions braid one or two scrunchies, um, a pair of scissors, and some elastic bands. I'm inserting one of the scrunchies to the hair and making that loop thing that I always do when I'm making a braid. And then I'm just going to separate the hair, pull it out of this plait that it came with before I insert it on my mannequin head so that I can start braiding. The hair tie separates the hair into two equal portions. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to take um, each of those halves and then I'm going to separate them again into half. So that we have four equal portions of hair. Now that we have four equal sections of hair, I'm taking up the outer left portion and putting it between my thumb and my index finger. Next, I'm taking up the inner left portion and I put that between my middle finger and my index finger. And with the inner right portion, I'm putting that between my middle finger and my ring finger. And with the outer right, I'm just holding that in my right hand. That was basically just to classify each of the portions of hair. Now I'm letting go both of the outer portions of hair and I'm only holding the two inner portions. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the inner right portion and cross it over the inner left portion. Now the two strands have switched places so the inner right strand has now become the inner left strand and vice versa. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the outer right strand and I'm going to put it underneath both of these strands and then I'm going to put it over the new inner left strand so that it comes between both of them like you see I'm doing here. This strand that is in the middle is now going to become our new inner right. So the portion of here that is in my right hand right now is going to become our new outer right. So I'm just going to put this here aside because at all times you just want to have like two portions of here in your hand. Now if you notice when we started out the hair was coming from the right in terms of the direction it was coming from the right and if you guys can see right now it is coming from the left so it's coming from the left direction and crossing over another strand that makes it like a slight x but it's coming from the left direction so when it's coming from the left we're going to use the outer left portion to do the action and when it is coming from the right we're going to use the outer right portion to do the action And it is always going to be 
underneath both strands first with the outer portion and then over the inner left or the inner right. So if it's coming from the left, it will be the new inner right that is going to go over. And if it's coming from the right, it will be the new inner left that is going to go over. We're just going to continue the same braiding procedure until we reach the end of the braid. Now that we reach the end of our braid, we're just going to use a few elastic bands to just hold this hair in place and then I'm going to go in and fluff the hair. So I'm just going to be like pulling on it a little bit and sort of pancaking it as they call it to just make it a bit more fluffy than it was before. So if you guys notice, there is a really cool thing about this braid because it has no definite front nor back. So from one angle it can look like a plait and from the other angle it is looking like a twist, like a sort of a rope twist. Now I'm just going in with my scissors and I'm just going to cut off this excess portion of hair before I install it in my head. What I did here is that I put the scrunchie around my bun like I would normally do and then I flipped the braid over my bun and then sort of used my fingers to spread it to open it a little bit so that it covers my bun. Um, properly. Now I wrap the hair around my head and position it where I want it to be so I don't want it too close to the front and I don't want it too close to the back so I make sure that it's in the right position for me before I start adding my bobby pins. And this part is pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just going around and just adding enough bobby pins where I think it is necessary so that it is properly secured on my head. While wrapping it around, I realized that the hair was a little bit too long so I had to um, cut a piece of it off. Before I did that, I added an elastic band and then I just went in with my scissors and just cut off where the elastic band stopped. After that, I just tuck the hair underneath at the back and then use some more bobby pins to hold it in place. And this is what the finished hairstyle looks like. As you guys can see, the detailing of the four strand braid gives this simple crown braid hairstyle and added oomph, which I'm just loving. I went ahead and I added some hair accessories off camera, and that's it for this hair tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click that like button share it with your friends, subscribe and comment down below and I will see you all in my next video.